Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Hello there. Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Of course. Yes. Clearly, clearly, clearly. Yes, because I'm having a little bad weather around here, but I hope you can hear me. Welcome to the class, everyone. One more time. And the last time for this week, perhaps. Welcome. It's totally a pleasure having you here. How was your day? Hello. It was good. Simple pass. It was good. It was uh, tiring. It was easy. Huh? How was it? How was your day? How was your day? Good? Talk to me. Uh-huh. Okay, let's just start with the examples you have. Thank you for thank you for sending your examples. Um, in my case, personally, guys, uh, I remember when I was a kid, I used to practice karate with my brother. And um, I don't anymore, you know? And as well, I remember I used to go to a guitar academy, you know, where they teach you to play the guitar. I learned the basics, um, but I, I don't play it anymore. And that is something I want to do, you know? What about you? What about you? Let's just start with your examples. Should your examples, do we have volunteers? Can you raise your hand? Can you raise your virtual, can you, can you raise your virtual hand to participate? Sandra, are you raising your hand? Okay, <laughs> that's, that's your hand. Uh -huh, go ahead. I used to listen to reggaeton music, but now I don't listen to anymore. You don't listen to it anymore. <laughs> okay, and what music do you listen now? Romantic music. <laughs> what a change, huh? What a change. Change of likes. Hey, Regina, go ahead. Is the homework teacher? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let it go. Okay. I used to have blonde hair, but new, I have brown hair. But now, but now you have brown hair, huh? Blonde hair and now, oh, I can't imagine you with blonde hair. Look, different look, huh? Yeah. Different look. Because I, I was the exorcist and the crossfit. I, I know, no me duraba. I don't know, I don't know say. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't used to last. Yeah, I it didn't, didn't use to the color. Okay. Yeah, the color and the girls and the ladies with those changes of looks. Okay, what about Alicia, Naomi? Good evening, teacher. Come on in. I never used to work, but now I am doing aerobics every day, every day. Aerobics, huh? Yeah. Ooh, with music. <laughs> yes, 5 a.m. Yes. in the morning, huh? Yes. Doing exercise. I love yes. it. I love it. That is that is healthy. Ladies, gentlemen, yes, yes or no? Yes. Huh? yes. Right. Good job. <laughs> Judy Thanks. Dios. Proceed. Okay. Uh, when I was 20, I used to play basketball. I like that. But now I can do it anytime. Mm, that sounds interesting. Thank you so much, Miss Judith. Let's go with Ingrid. Come on in, Ingrid. Take the microphone. Hi, good evening. Well, 
I used to dance very well when I was a kid, but now I don't like dance anymore. You don't like dancing? Dancing, sir. Yeah. Main verb like, secondary verb, Jaren. So you don't, wait, wait, you were a kid and you used to dance. It's true, when we are kids, we, we, we can dance all the rhythms, all the type of music we can dance it. But later is different. That's interesting, Ingrid. Let's go with uh, who else? Who else? Who else is ready? That's it? No more homework? No more homework for me? Come on, don't be stingy. Don't be stingy. Give me more homework. Oscar, what about you, Oscar? Oh. Okay. I use it to chat in my class of English. But I don't chat anymore. I never used to sleep in the afternoon, but today I do. You didn't use soccer, but no, you always play soccer. Okay, remember that the pronunciation, Oscar, is used to. Used to. Yeah, used to, okay? Used to. Okay, let's go with Vidal. What you got, Vidal? What you got for us? Oh, we have ladies. I'm coming back with you, ladies. Evening, teacher. Yes, sir. Good evening. Um, my own, my word is you. I used to play soccer, but now I don't. Wait, wait, wait. Used to. Used I used to. I used to play soccer, but now I don't know. Same with me, brother. Same with me. <laughs> I did not used to eat beetroot, but beetroot. Now, beetroot. No, I can't by eat now, beetroot. By now, my life. You like it? You like yes. it? Yes. Why? Now, yeah. Why? Um, sugar is like this. It's like a medi it's like a medication for you or something like that. It's because the doctor recommended you to to eat beetroot. The doctor, the doctor told you, huh? No. I like be but the sweets. Or say you say you say I like it. Repeat, I like it. I like it. Because. Because. It's sweet. It's sweet. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Jocelyn, let it go, please. Wait, 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 Jocelyn, somebody has. Guys, can you help me with your, with your, um, Andrea Michelle, deactivate your microphone. Uh, good evening, teacher. Oh my God, my ears almost explode. Uh, let me see. I I really need your help with that, guys. I really need your help with the with the sounds with the interruptions, it's only one hour. It's only 60 minutes. Um, thank you. Uh, Judith, do you have one more example for us? Or do you, I see your hand raised. Yes, teacher, I have another example. Please let it I, go. Okay, I didn't used to climb the trees because the heat is hard. Okay, yes, definitely. Uh, and now you, you, still, you still don't climb trees, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> you say, Judy, I still don't. I still don't. The coconut. <laughs> <laughs> the coconut pound. Okay. Who else? Juan Carlos. Take the microphone. Okay, teacher. Yeah. When I was younger, I used to play soccer for the two times in the match. But now I can play soccer. I only fixed minute because I hurt my ankle. 
you hurt your ankle. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what about what about your resistance, Juan Carlos? How is your how is your resistance? It's not a saying now because I'm older. Uh, so you yeah, play you play you play something called like like uh puppy soccer something like that no no, no, yet. no not yet. yet no yet <laughs> no yet no yet yeah. i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just joking okay. okay good job gentlemen somebody else has an example or we go to the class before i didn't Hold on, hold on, Eduardo. Go ahead, Eduardo. Go ahead. It's Eduardo's turn now. Let's go later with you, Kim. Before I didn't study English. I didn't used to. I didn't used to. I didn't used to in, uh, study English, but now I study every time. Every time, every time I can. Every time I can. Really, Eduardo? So, so now you study English every every possible moment. You you see any space in your agenda? You study English, huh? That's yes. nice. That's nice, man. Why? Why do you like studying English now? And in the past, you didn't used to like it. Why? I will like. Um learn very much much i would like i would like to learn very much okay excellent interesting story thank you eduardo thank you guys for your participation thank you for chatting your examples for grammar correction purposes and then saying the examples here for pronunciation purposes so we try to cover all, all the all the skills as much as we can, you know. So let me go ahead and share my screen. We're gonna go to today's objective, which has to do, which is definitely related to this topic, used to. So let's go ahead and share. Can you confirm if you can visualize my screen? Can you see it? Uh, yes, teacher. Mm, wait, 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 wait. Give me one second. There is something wrong. There is something wrong here. Give me one second. This should be the problem. Okay, let me try again. Still looks weird. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to take one second. Okay. So let's go ahead and share now the, um, the objective. Okay. Judith, can you help us sharing the objective tonight? Okay. Let's have an objective. Build English conversational skill with this lesson on past tense question. Practice forming past tense question using the verb to be by asking a person about his or her background. For example, you'll be able, where you born in the city? Where were you born? When were you born? And how old were you? when you came to this country. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to ask an answer yes or no question and double H question using was and where. Outstanding, Miss. Thank you for uh, sharing the objective. Thank you. Good job. Let's go ahead and now watch the uh, class video. Any question, let me know. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer yes and no questions and WH questions using the verb to be in the past. For example, you'll be able to ask the following questions. Were you born in this city? When were you born? Where were you born? 
So we're going to try to make sense of these two questions that you see there on the left. Where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires? And the first thing that um, I want to point out is the following, that we're still going to continue to follow that uh, rule that we learned in our previous lesson, which was that we're going to follow the verb to be, either was or where, depending on the pronoun. So if I talk about I, he, she, or it, then the verb to be that we'll use will be was. And whenever we talk about the pronouns we, you, or they, the verb to be that we're going to use will be where. Now, let's try to make sense of the different types of questions that we have. First of all, we're going to talk about yes or no questions. And that will be the second one that you see there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sense of that question, and then we're going to practice making a few. So um, let me start by writing down a formula. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to include will be the verb to be. And I'm going to go ahead and color this and let's say uh, green. I'm going to go ahead and color this subject in let's say red. And the complement, I'm going to go ahead and color that in something um, different. I'm going to go ahead and use um, I'm going to go ahead and use blue this time, right? Um, and so let's do the following. Uh, let me uh, write down uh, the uh, uh, the verb to be here. And then this is going to follow the subject. And after this, this will follow the complement. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the colors there. OK. All right, there we go. So in order for us to make questions in the past using the verb to be, what we're going to do is we're going to use the verb to be in the past, either was or where. And I mentioned that we need to recall uh, this rule that we learned in our previous lesson in order to understand that. Then this follows the subject. And then this will follow whatever complement that you want to ask. So if you look at our example here, were you born in Buenos Aires? And the answer to this question will be, yes, I was. That will be the short answer. Um, and the negative response will be, no, I wasn't. And of course, this will vary depending on the pronoun. Let's say that I changed the subject now. And let's say that now I want to ask about he. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to recall that whenever we use the pronoun he, we're going to use the verb to be was. So therefore, we'll say, was he born in China? And of course, we also need to recall that um, here, we can um, use names instead of the pronoun. So was Mary born in China? Was Peter born in China, etc. So what I want to do now is I want to talk about creating WH questions. And in order for us to create WH questions, we're pretty much going to follow the same pattern. So as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this previous rule here. And the only difference that we're going to have in creating WH questions is that I'm going to write some sort of WH word. And what are those WH words? Well, you can see the example that we have on this little chart. We're going to use WH words such as where, who, what, when, why, etc. That's what we mean by uh, WH words. And so that it's what's going to um, be included at the very beginning. And everything else will pretty much stay the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color um, this differently just to make sure that we know what's happening there. So let me do that right now. OK, there we go. So we're going to have some sort of WH word. And then that's going to follow the verb to be in the past. Uh, then it's going to follow the subject and then whatever complement that exists. So if we look at our example, where were you born? Right. So there we let me write the same one there where the verb to be. Oops. And then this is going to follow the subject. And then uh, whatever complement. And then we have ourselves a WH question. 
and WH question simply means information questions, if you will, also if you want to look at them that way. What I would like for you to do now is to practice the concept that we just learned. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post some questions here for you. And I would like for you to answer these questions and come up with as many others that you possibly can. Try to make those yes or no questions or WH questions. Alrighty. Let me go back right here. And I would like for you. Mm -hmm. You have any question about the video? So here we have, were you a good student in high school? Okay, this is a just no question, right? And, and then who was your hero when you were a child? Okay, and the last question, it's an information question, right? WH word, the last two are WH words. How old were you in 1999? Oh my gosh, you have to, I have to do mathematics <laughs> in my case. Um, but these are uh, pretty much the um, formulas. Um, I need you to, to picture this. I need you to picture this. I need you to memorize. Uh, these formulas, okay? Let me stop sharing. Let me go back. And hold on. Okay. Okay, so let's have a little conversation using these. Um, for example, where were you born? When were you born? Something like that. WH questions. Um, were you born in San Salvador, for example? Let's start with um, just no questions, right? Were you born in uh, Santa Ana or whatever you want to ask? Were you happy uh, as a kid? Were you a happy kid? Were you, um, I don't know, were you shy when you were younger? <laughs> let's uh, prepare, let's prepare, let's do something. Let's prepare one just no question and one WH word question using um, the past of the bird to be, okay? Let's go ahead and work on that. Prepare one just no question. Excuse me, teacher. They yes. put the other um, um, the grammar. Can you repeat? Eh, puede poner la, 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 la anterior para agarrar el, este, la forma de hacerla. The formulas. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Let me share that again. And here we go. Can you see it? Let me see. Can you see it there? Yes, teacher, it's here. Picture it, please, picture it now. Okay, 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 okay. I'm giving you just two minutes, guys. This is easy for you. So, just yes, no question. One just yes, no question and one WH word question. You got it, lady? You got it? Okay, anyways. Okay, I think you guys are ready. So who wants to open? Let's go with uh, Jose Enriquez. Let's just start with you. Let's start with a just no question, okay? I want you to, I want you to choose uh, one of your participants, one of your, I'm sorry, one of your classmates, and um, you will ask the just no question. Ready? Go ahead. 
uh, Judith. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Uh, Judith, were you a good driver when you were younger? A good driver? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so. I started uh, driving around 20 years ago. Okay, very good. Nice. Let me tell you something. In El Salvador, it's difficult to be a good driver. It's very difficult. <laughs> Judith, go ahead, make a question. Yes, no question to one classmate. Okay. Come on, come uh, on, come on. Um, Oscar. Excuse me, Oscar. <laughs> Say, excuse me. How old are you when you um, how got old, a, How old? How old are you? How uh, old were, were you? you? Were you, excuse me. How, how old were you when you got a first uh, girlfriend? When you got your first girlfriend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Oscar? Uh, excuse me, Eddie, Judith, can you repeat, please? Say hey, Oscar, huh? <laughs> Girlfriend. How old were you when you got your first girlfriend? Oh. Wait, my brother. Your brother? Yes. Um, I, I don't understand, Oscar. I think he understood just friend. Friend. Oh, could be. He's could talking be. about his friend. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you for the interpretation, <laughs> uh, Jose. It, it was girlfriend, actually, Oscar. But thank you for the attempt. Thank you for the attempt. Um, let's go with uh, who else has camera activated? Let's go with Vidal. Vidal, go ahead. Make a question. Just no question to one classmate. Okay. Como tres veces para que lo Salvador. Salvador Bernal. Yes, say the question. Say the question. Okay. Who, who was you ever when you were shy? Hey, shut the question. You have to in the background <laughs> that's that's very uh, I cannot consider your participation Vidal you have to be in a quiet place please um, let's go with Sandra make a question please guys <laughs> please. excuse me excuse me sounds silent go ahead Sandra please Ingrid. Okay, question to you, Ingrid Arias. Where, where, you are, where you are a good student in high school? Uh, yes, I was. So what? <laughs> <laughs> so 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 <laughs> I, I heard that tone of voice you heard that tone of voice right okay I like that I like that go ahead Ingrid make a question just yes, no question one more and then we go to the, the other one okay Andrea Michel were you a deportist when you was a younger when you 
was younger? Uh, are you sure? When you was? When you was a kid. Okay, yeah. give me the give me give me the conjugation of the verb to be in the past. Give me the conjugation. I was. Was. You. Oh. Uh huh. When you. Uh, you. Can you hear me? You 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 froze. When you were, remember, remember, mm -hmm. was is only with he, she, it. Where is mm -hmm. with you, yes. we, and where, they? Where, 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 where. Let's repeat the question, yeah. no problem. Okay. Were you a deportist when you were a younger or when you were younger? When you were younger? When you were younger. Now, yeah, uh huh. Do you understand the question? Uh, actually, you you better say you can better say athlete. I suggest you to say athlete. Okay. Okay. Or or you can say a sport person. Sport person. Sport person. Okay. Or uh huh, something like that. Is okay. is more common. Okay. Okay. Did you hear the question? Thank you. Who is who is your who is your classmate? Who is your classmate? Andrea Michelle. Andrea Michelle, can you hear? Is she here? Andrea, are you here? Garcia? Hello? I think she has no microphone access. <laughs> can you choose another one, please? Jennifer is there. Jennifer yes, Torres? Jennifer, okay. Were you a sport person when you were younger? Great. No, I wasn't. Okay. And now? Mm, no. <laughs> still, still not. Huh? <laughs> no problem, Jennifer. It's okay. Me neither. <laughs> Go ahead, Jennifer. Make a question. Just no question. No. Do you understand? Uh, Dina Flores. Dina, Dina Flores. Dina, 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 uh, Dina. Let me see. Where were you a student in high school? Were you? Were where, you? Were you a student in high school? Were you a student in high school? Is that correct? Where were you a student in mm -mm. high school? Mm -mm. That's not correct. You mm -hmm. might be, you might want to ask, where did you study in high school? Right? Mm, okay. uh, that's an, a study, study is an action verb, so you need the auxiliary. The, but right now, we are using was and where, okay? Okay, okay, okay. So let's go with WH words, WH word questions. For example, where were you born? I would like to know where were you born? That's, a, that's an interesting question for me. Um, tell me, where were you born? Raise your hand, raise your virtual hand and tell me where were you born? With two questions, two questions. Where and when, okay? When and where, I wanna know, when and where were you born? Me, for example, I was born in Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. And I was born in August 19, 1982. So I'm from the 80s. <laughs> what about you, Judith? Tell me. Um, where I, I am. Where I was born. Both where and and well, only where. Okay, I was born in Mexicano City. Yeah, exactly, in the house. No kidding, at home. 
Yes. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Make a question or where were you born? Let me see. Um, Andrea, no, Andrea is not here. Let me see, Salvador. Where were you born, Salvador? I was born in Chinameca, San Miguel. San Miguel City, huh? What about you, Dina? The same question, huh? Where were you born? I was San Miguel. I was born. I was born San Miguel. Uh huh. Okay, nice. Um, Me teacher. Go ahead. Me teacher. Go ahead. Yes, go, go, go ahead, go ahead. Yes. I was born in Bella Vista, Santa Ana. Bella Vista, Santa Ana. Okay, nice, nice. What about you, Kimberly? You have noise? Yes, teacher. Solo que no estoy en la casa, voy de viaje, pues una agenda me está. What about, okay, what about you, Eduardo? What about you, Michelle? Uh, yes. Go ahead, go ahead, Eduardo, go ahead. I was born. Perdón, ¿cuál era la pregunta? Where were you born? I born in San Salvador City. I was born. I was born. Sorry. I was born. Where where do you live in San Salvador? Regina, we need to correct that one, okay? We need to correct that one. Noemi, go ahead, Noemi. I was born in Santa Ana City. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, nice job, nice job. Let me go ahead and share one more time. I'm going to uh, share, hopefully you can see it now. Okay, there it is, there it is. Um, here we have the formulas, guys, once again. Okay, remember the bird to be, the subject and the complement. The bird to be was or where, depending on the subject, right? Remember? Conjugation is I, he, she, it, all the singulars, all the singulars with was. And you, which is plural and singular, we and they, they go with where. First of all, you have to remember this, you have to memorize this, okay? So you can use these ones, okay? So can you prepare me a question with WH word? Yes, for example, where were you born, which is the one we are practicing? Teacher. Go ahead. I want to ask you something. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, where were you for the last earthquake? Where were you in the, in the last earthquake? In the last earthquake, I remember. Yes, I was in the. Um, I was downtown. I was downtown. I was in the middle of you know everything in San Salvador. I was shopping. I was I was shopping. <laughs> you should have seen that. It was crazy. People running here and there. So it was crazy. What about you? Where were you that moment? Do you remember? I have a question for all the class. Where were you, where, right? Where were you last Christmas? Um, a complete, complete, tell me complete. Well, I, I... Hey, you're breaking up, you're breaking up. Repeat again. Sorry, I have a connection, but I, I I don't know if you can hear me. Now I can. Now I can. Okay. And well, for the last Christmas, uh, I was in my house, and and during the day, uh, I was to visit 
uh, I was visiting my mother in Kumasawa uh, with my with my family, my my daughter and my wife. Perfect, and perfect. At, and at night, uh, I was in my house and celebrating the Christmas. Okay, okay, very good. I have a question for the class. Good job, good job, sir. Um, where were you yesterday at noon? Raise your virtual hand. Where were you yesterday at noon? Raise your virtual hand. At noon, I have a dude. At noon is uh, during uh, the middle of the day or the middle of, of the night? The no, day. That's, that's, mid that's midnight. Uh, and at noon, uh, I was in my job and also I was having lunch with my coworker. Okay, cool. Thank you. Somebody else? I do play video games in my house. Thank you, Eduardo. Very good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, now is your turn. Make a question. WH word question. And you have to use e, the verb to be, was or where, the subject and the verb to be. Okay? Share a question, say it, or chat a question now. Go ahead. Let's see, we start receiving something here. We have Jocelyn's example and it is. It is says, where would you live in the San Salvador? Mm, that doesn't sound correct. Maybe you wanna ask. Yeah, that's the correction like you said anteriormente. Where would you live five years ago? No, that's not right because remember you're using a you're using um, an action verb. Leave is an action verb. So if it's an action verb, you have to use the auxiliary did. Where did you leave five years ago? So remember, we're talking about in Spanish, like cero estar, and in the past, era o estabas, right? In past, something related to that, to the verb to be. Go ahead, mis tíos. Okay. When were you joined to English program? I'm sorry? When were you joined to English program? Where were you joined? Mm, that would be where did you, when did you join? Right? Cuando te uniste? When did mm -hmm. you join? That would be the bird to be. Okay. I want you to ask questions like, for example, who was who was your previous teacher? Yes? Okay. Uh-huh, class. Who was your previous teacher? Tell me, who was your previous English teacher? In my case, Her name was I don't Ruth. have it. Where were you working? Wait, wait, Eliseo, wait. Wait, uh, Jose, you have the microphone. Uh, no, I was saying that her name was Ruth. Correct. Her name was Ruth. Uh huh. Who was who was your previous teacher? Uh huh. Volunteers, Judith, Eduardo. Her name, Anna. Her name was Anna. Good job, Eduardo. Uh huh. Bernie. Go ahead. I remember it and the name of my previous teacher was Ruth 
was Ruth. Okay. What about you, Judith? You were saying? I I don't have any teacher before. Uh, okay. I started yet. <laughs> you, you just I just started. You just yes. started. Welcome. Yes. Welcome, Judy. Do you Thank like you. it? Do you like yes, it? Yes, I like. How do you like the classes? It's a emotional, um, a friendly, um, funny too. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes, like you are in the best place. I'm sorry. Yes. Thank you. In dynamic. In dynamic. Yes, That's the best. Yes. That's the best, Eliseo. Okay. Uh, so you see similar questions, but you have to talk using the past of the verb to be. Yeah. For example, how was how was your lunch today? In my case, it was great because uh, <laughs> I enjoyed uh, with my coworker because I was doing my job as well. Woohoo! Bingo! Another participant. Come on, guys. Only Eliseo and Judith. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Talk to me. In my case, it was delicious, teacher. Why? Why? I, uh, because I ate something that I don't used to eat uh, very often. Uh -huh. uh, I ate French fries with rapiditas <laughs> in, uh, I don't know. I don't remember the name of that food. Okay, it's okay. Like spaghetti with vegetables. Sounds nice. It was, it was uh, a twi like a twister teacher. It I, sounds, I don't know. <laughs> it sounds a little exotic. It's because I, I didn't like too much the menu. So I went to the cafeteria yeah. and I choose a one portion. I don't know if it is correct. Portion one of portion what? Of, of almost everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, Jose, great job. Just say menu. Sound like menu. a phone menu. <laughs> Me menu. Menu. Okay, somebody else? Okay, somebody thank else? You. How was it? How was it? How was it? How was your lunch? Okay, let me change the question. How was your last birthday? Raise your virtual hand. Come on. Talk, talk time. Tell us a little bit. Go ahead, Juan. Okay, teacher. In my last birthday, uh, was great because my all my friends come to my house and we're sharing a lot about many topics we ate a uh, cake and we drunk soda and another drink and but another no, types of drinks huh yeah no 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 beers no beers <laughs> no, no okay let's pronounce let's pronounce birth birthday birthday birth birthday right somebody else i don't think you don't remember your last birthday mm -hmm. in my case it was great teacher because a lot of friends call me and wish wishes wished, wished. Wished, uh -huh, wished to me blessings, and also they gave me a lot of presents, mm -hmm. and that was the best. The presents. All right, congratulations, <laughs> man! That was the best, huh? Good job, good participation tonight, sir. And my other students. I'm listening. Salvador, Edith, Esther, Lorena, well, Vidal, no. Um, Eliseo, Andrea, Eduardo, Jocelyn. 
Jennifer. Jennifer Torres, two times. Michelle. Okay, teacher. On my last birthday, what's it? Pizza? Cake? Wait, 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 wait. Break soda? Birth, birth, birthday. 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 Mm -mm. Birthday. Beer, beer day is different. Birthday. <laughs> <laughs> You know oh what is beer, God. right? <laughs> Suena como día de la cerveza. It is. It is. That's what she's saying. Beer day is different than birthday. Repeat. Birth. Birthday. Birth. 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 On my life, birthday was eat pizza, cake, and drink soda with my family. Mm. You can say, my last birthday was very fun because we ate pizza, we drank soda, yeah? People gave me presents, yes? Not present. Yeah, but, but you have to use was. I was, it was, uh, I was very happy. My family was here, yeah? My father wasn't here. He was working, yeah? Do you understand me? Come on, come on. Give me an answer, give me an answer. How was your last birthday? In my case, it was awesome because okay. my my family prepared me uh, a small party, and well, I I ate uh, a lot, and I I drank some beers, and at night I I danced uh, with my family with my mother. Okay, you have a little a little um, bad connection now, uh, but thank you so much for your answer. Noemi, you have something for us also, Ms. Estrada? Yes. Proceed, Miss. Uh, on, my la on my last birthday, um, they took me to the beach with my family. Nice. I had a piñata with Candies. Piñata party. Ooh, nice. <laughs> yes. What about uh, you? Uh huh. Nice and answer. Only. Very good job, Miss Noemi. Very good and job. See, you're combining the past of the verb to be and the action verbs in simple past. That's the objective. Yes. Let me ask you one more question, one last question, because we only have five more minutes. How was your day today? My day is pretty well. In simple pass, in simple pass. Was a little hard in my case. Uh-huh, listen to that. It was a little hard. It is, is for things, and the day is one thing, so it was very hard. It was difficult. It was tiring. Yes? It was pretty well. It was pretty well. Okay, let me switch it the question. It was very happy. It was very happy. Nice, nice, yes. nice. How was, how was, how was this first week of English classes in this course, in this module? For me, it has been exciting teacher because I've learned the pronunciation of some words and I remember, I, I have remembered some rules that I have forgotten. <laughs> Outstanding, Mr. Enriquez. Somebody else? Was For me, it was very fun. And I learned so much <laughs> in one week. Just in one, one week. week. Really? That's amazing. Yeah. It, 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 
cool because I I know if I have a bad pronunciation, you told me it so quickly. No, that's so bad. And that's really cool. Thank that's you. really cool to improve your pronunciation. And that's why I'm here for to help you with that. I hope each of you increased your participation. Uh, we as a class, I need to be very honest with you. We as a class need to improve in some things, guys. Uh, I, I'm sorry, but I have to tell you, uh, it's only one hour class, okay? You need to be very responsible. The noise in your house affects the class. So you have to be aside. You have to be apart. You have to be in a different room. Yes. You don't have to be next to the television. Please. The noise affects. If you cannot participate because of the noise, it's okay. You can listen to the class. You can chat. You can chat. Yes, on Teams. Here. Here on the meet. Um, but please help me with that. And another thing is that you need to increase your participation. The more, the more participation, the better level for you. Yes. The more you speak, the more I correct you and you be better. You get better. You follow me? So this message is for all of you, okay? Okay, help me with that. Uh, Esther, Lorena, um, see Jennifer, I think. Andrea. I'm... Hello, Eduardo. I'm tried. You will try. You have you have any comment for me? You have any question for me before we go? No, I try it. Okay, to finish to finish the class, I'm going to tell you a joke. Let me see who understands the joke. Pay attention. Pay attention. I'm telling you one joke in English. It's in simple pass. It's in simple pass. Listen to me. Guys, do you know? Do you know why? The number 10, do you know the number 10? Number 10, yes? Yes. Do you know why the number 10 is scared of, of number seven? Huh? No, I don't know. Do you understand? Yes. Do you know, do you know, Jose, Jose? Sandra, everybody, do you know why the number 10 is scared, is afraid of the number seven? Number seven? Do you know? Do you know no, why? Teacher. I huh? have no idea. I, I don't know. Huh? Why? You don't know? Michelle, do you know? No, I don't know. Do you not know, Judith? No. Because, because he is following the 10. The 7 is following the 10. No. <laughs> the 7 is following the 10? Do, do you want the answer? Okay. The number 10 is scared of number seven? Why? Because the number seven, eight, nine. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> because the number seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So the number 10 is, oh no, it's gonna eat me. It's gonna eat me because the number seven, eight, nine. So if you understand that joke is because do you understand the simple pass? <laughs> no, I understand. Ah, you understood. You understood, Jose? Yes, good teacher. Job, Number job. 10 is the next in the menu. <laughs> in the menu. Hey, menu. good weekend, guys. See you on Monday, okay? Practice your English. No homework. No homework, okay? See you on Monday. Miss the class. Practice your English. Bye -bye. See you on Monday. Bye. See you Monday. Take Go to easy. bed.